What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy, and this is a thank you video I'm going to be doing for a really awesome present that someone got for me off my Amazon wish list. I'm not exactly sure who got this for me because it came in anonymously, but here it is right here. It's a Ken doll from the new Barbie movie that just came out. Let me show you guys a closer look at it. So I'm actually going to be unboxing it in this video. So let's begin. I really hate when they have these little things in here like this. I mean, come on. I mean, no one. W I mean, I know this is for kids, but no kid wants to have a doll with a bunch of things sticking out of its heads, unless it was like designed for one of those creators that are not supposed to take the dolls out of the box. I mean, one of those collectors who aren't supposed to take the doll out of the box. Then it makes sense. But what the heck? All right, let me try pulling. All right, so looks like I got it. Does the hat still go back on? Oh, wait a second, there's more. One second. Oh, the rollerblades actually turn. Alright, looks like I finally got him out of the box, really. Let me put these on him. Alright, and we got it. So here, it's roller... What kind of... This one called again? It's uh, Ken from the Barbie movie. I thought it was like, thought it had some special name to it, but yeah, this is like the rollerblading outfit that he wears in the Barbie movie. In all honesty, I actually haven't seen the new Barbie movie yet, but I've seen like people post about it online and on Facebook and everything, and I've been wanting to see it, honestly, because it looks really interesting. I mean, I know it's not in theaters anymore. I think you... I think you could probably get it on YouTube or something and uh, <laughs> yeah because I back when I was a little kid I actually used to play with Barbie dolls all the time never would play with Ken dolls but I used to play with Barbie dolls all the time but I didn't quite play with them the same way that girls do I would have one of the dolls be the killer and have her kill the rest of the dolls and have one girl be the lone survivor at the end who manages to take out the doll who's the killer. I'm pretty sure that's not the same way that... <laughs> pretty sure that's not the same way that girls play with Barbies, though. But I could be wrong. I mean, there's a lot of female females who are slasher movie fans, so if you played with your Barbies that way, let me know in the comments. But yeah, really been wanting to get this because, like, I absolutely love Ken, honestly. Well, how could I not, really? Look at the way he's dressed. Now, because of my autism mind, I'm, like, really sensitive to bright, saturated colors like this. So if I ever met a guy who dressed like this, that would... 
it would get my blood flowing, and you all know what happens when my blood gets flowing. Another thing that I should throw in, I actually never thought that Ken and Barbie were actually a couple. I always just thought that Ken was Barbie's gay best friend. Which is another reason why I love Ken, honestly. But yeah, thanks so much to the awesome person who got this for me. Another thing that I noticed about this Ken doll is that it actually has joints that actually... Wait, do they? Oh yeah, they do. This doll actually has joints that actually bend. Because usually with uh, the Ken dolls, the joints don't really bend so well, but... Look at these ones, they actually do. And I think even the, do the knee joints bend also? Yep, they do. Holy crap, they do. You usually don't see a doll with joints like these, a Ken doll with joints like these. Usually they're, well, he's not quite a doll at all. He's an action figure. If he has joints like these, definitely an action figure. Usually with the Ken dolls, you can't like bend their joints or anything, like the really cheap ones that I always make into trophies. Uh, yeah, that's another thing that I do. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in any of my episodes of Joe Winko Talk, but whenever a stranger takes me on a road trip, I'll give him a trophy for taking me on the road trip. I only did that since 2020, and basically how those are made, they're basically Ken dolls that are spray-painted gold, so... Yeah, as you see in those pictures. And those are like the cheap Ken dolls that you can get for like $5 from Walmart. But this one is actually a special kind, really. I mean, the way his joints bend and everything. And plus the outfit and the accessories he comes with. This one's really awesome. So thanks so much to the awesome person who got this for me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> And I still haven't seen the new Barbie movie yet, but there was technically a reason why I've been wanting to get this. It's because I plan on using it as a prop in one of my upcoming scary Sims 2 slasher films. Now, this is another long story, and it might freak people out, but before I explain this story, I just want to let you all know, I don't really want to kill anyone, but... Last month, back in October, I had this really scary dream. Well, I'm not really sure if it's like a nightmare or if it's really that scary, to be honest with you, because nothing really bad happened to me in the dream at all. It was one of those third-person dreams where you see yourself doing something. You don't actually see it from first perspective, but when you see yourself doing something, I know that there's a term for that, but I forgot exactly what that term was. But it was one of those dreams where I was like watching myself do something, like watching a movie, kind of. Like I was watching myself do something and I saw myself doing everything. But I had this dream that I was alone in a house and I had a doll just like this one. And I was really sad, and I was crying and everything, and I looked really angry and pissed off. Like, a combination of angry and pissed off and sad. And then I was, like, cuddling with a Ken doll and everything. But then I pulled out this book, which looked like some evil magic spell book. And then I started reading from the book, and I started doing this scary Latin chant. And the thing is, I actually do that pretty often. Like, I do practice witchcraft, and I do do a lot of Latin chants. Like in the one video of when I wanted a tornado to strike Solid Rock Church in Monroe, Ohio. After I did the whole Latin chant, the Ken doll that I was holding, it started to grow, and it got larger and larger and larger until it was actually like life-size, like as tall as I was. And then it came to life, and it was smiling at me, and then like we were hugging and kissing each other, and I saw the smile on its face. It then turned into this really evil smile on its face, and then it looked me right in the eye, 
like not me in the eye because remember this is one of those third person dreams but I saw it look me in the eye and I was dressed in no shirt my red shorts and my red pointy bandana and the Ken doll was like exactly like this dressed exactly like this he looked me right in the eye and he said let's kill all of them so then both of us pulled out knives and then like we went walked outside and it was like this whole neighborhood and then we went door to door and we would knock on a door someone would open it up and then we would brutally stab them to death and it kept happening over and over and over again they were stabbing people to death they were pulling out axes and hacking them to death and decapitating them basically it was the ken doll came to life became a real man and me and him went door to door killing everyone and what i saw was absolutely brutal and it freaked me out a bit really and uh, when i woke up i was like oh my god that was a crazy dream and I ended up calling my grandma and telling her that dream and then right when I told it to her she told me you gotta make that into a real movie and I was like what and she said yes you gotta make that into one of your Sims 2 movies and she told me that I should green screen myself because I showed her you guys remember my werewolf game movie how I was able to get myself to interact with the sim characters uh, like in this clip right here that you guys are seeing yeah she told she thought that that was really cool so what she ended up doing was she actually ordered me this whole costume this costume that this Ken doll is wearing and then she says isn't it possible that you can get two of you on video and I'm like uh, yeah that is possible I can do that with the green screen it's a bit complicated but I can do it she says you should do the video like that it'd be really cool you can play the part as yourself and you can play the part as Ken too so then she got me the costume and then I was like you know what that really would make a awesome ideal for a scary video for YouTube and that's when I came up with the madman and the plastic psychopath from that scary dream I had of me and the Ken doll coming to life and going door to door killing everyone but he did more than just come to life he actually grew life size and everything and was going door to door and we were stabbing people to death and hacking people up and everything and you know the the thing is every single person that they killed Every single person that they killed, I recognized all of them because every single one of them was people I wrote into my death curse book. How this thing works is when you write someone's name into it, it's supposed to cause them to die. So obviously the people I write into this book are people who've pissed me off and I mean I wouldn't write anyone I like into this book, I can tell you that. And I recently ran out of space in this one. But my grandma also got me a new one recently that I have right here. But this is the one that I've been writing in from 2021 to 2023. And if you guys really want to know how many people I've written into my death curse book, I actually sat down a couple days ago and paged through this book and counted up every single name, every single person I've written into this book and it totaled out to 158 people and that's about the same amount of people who died in all the friday the 13th movies from friday the 13th part 1 to jason x um well technically that number is 160 roughly but this totaled out to 150 people and i was like oh wow but the thing you have to realize is that I spend a lot of time on the internet. I talk to a lot of people online. I post a lot of stuff online. I get a lot of comments from people online. And most of the people I've written into my Death Curse book were my haters from Reddit. And, oh god, Reddit is full of assholes. But I always thought that most of the people I wrote into my Death Curse book were stupid guys from dating apps who were really rude or who were really disrespectful but it actually turns out that most of the people I've written into my death curse book were actually my haters from reddit 
and there's a lot of them. That's how I got to like 153 people into the book. But every single person that me and Ken murdered in the dream that I had, all of them were people who I've written into my Death Curse book, and I recognized all of them. And it was, oh gosh, it was like the most brutal dream I've ever had. We were like stabbing people, hacking them up, and like, we used more than just knives, also axes and baseball bats too, and... <laughs> It was, it was extremely brutal, honestly. But that's where I got the idea for my upcoming Sims 2 horror movie, The Madman and the Plastic Psychopath. And let me tell you guys what that movie is going to be about. Basically what that movie is going to be about, it's going to be about me living in a small town. I'm trying to decide what state it should take place in. At first I was thinking Alabama, but then I was thinking Texas. But nowadays, I'm thinking either Oklahoma, or Kansas, or Tennessee. Most likely Tennessee, because I don't think I'll write any other story that would take place in Tennessee. But basically, what's going to happen in that movie? It's going to be about me living in Tennessee as a gay black guy in a small town in rural Tennessee back in year 1990. And you already know that that's, <laughs> you already know that that's a bad combination. Like, everyone in the town makes me miserable. Like, I'm a major outcast among everyone, but I get treated horribly by everyone in the town. Like, kids will play pranks on me, teenagers will drive by and throw paint at me, and they vandalize my property and stuff like that, and they do a lot of bad stuff. And my character is supposed to be kind of crazy. He's not supposed to be right in the head at all. He's supposed to be like really angry and really pissed off and mad. And the only friend that he has is a Ken doll that he talks to. And what ends up happening is Joe ends up finding a magic book out in the woods, a magic spell book. He casts a spell on the Ken doll, which makes the Ken doll come to life. And the Ken doll comes to life, and they fall in love with each other. However, Ken starts to notice how badly Joe is being treated in the town, and he gets really pissed off. And because Ken was brought to life by Joe, Ken contains all the same anger and rage that Joe has, except it's intensified. So Ken tries convincing Joe to go on a killing spree to murder everyone in the small Tennessee town that they're living in. And Joe doesn't want to at first, but eventually some stuff happens and then Joe finally snaps. And then they decide, okay, let's kill everyone in this town. And what ends up happening is Ken casts a magic spell that makes all the guns in the town malfunction because it's, it's a small country town in Tennessee. People are going to be armed to a teeth. However, Ken casts a spell that makes all the guns malfunction and they don't work. So basically the people have no means of defending themselves. And that's when Joe and Ken go on their killing spree. And they basically go on a killing rampage. They go door to door murdering every single person in the town. And that's basically what's going to be happening in my next upcoming slasher film, The Madman and the Plastic Psychopath. Let me show you guys a closer look at the poster right here. Alright, so that's the poster for it. Now, the thing about that poster is both of the people you see on the poster, both of those guys are actually me. I did it in Photoshop. I changed the color of my skin to make it look darker so I would look different from the Ken doll, really, the Ken version of me. I made the skin darker. But the thing about that is, my skin really is that dark. I mean, that picture is obviously edited, but these are a couple unedited pictures of me that show how dark my skin sometimes is. See? My skin really is that dark. But the thing about me is I'm actually mixed with black and white, so my skin color changes all the time. But usually it's really light nowadays because I wear like tons of sunscreen because I don't want sun to damage my skin at all or age me at all or anything like that. 
And I actually can do that on video. I mean, I just have to use like a special editing effect to make the skin look darker. But I was going to green screen myself in for that movie, and the rest of the people were all going to be Sim characters, just like I did in Onryo and Werewolf game, except it'll be a bit more complicated because I'll actually be interacting with the Sim characters and everything. I actually added a whole bunch of fake weapons to my Amazon wish list, so... Yeah, th that's the reason why all those fake weapons are on my Amazon wish list because I plan on using them in my The Madman and Plastic Psychopath slasher movie I'm going to be making. So let me know what you guys think of that whole plot and storyline for that upcoming movie. I still plan on making and finishing Werewolf Game Flashback Villager side and Onryo 2. I mean, the reason why I put Onryo 2 on hiatus is because it, I was having a really difficult time finding voice actors for it, but I might just end up doing the rest of the voiceovers myself, really. I mean, because it is the longest script I've ever written in my entire life. And Werewolf Game Flashback Villager side, I would say that that's roughly 50% done. I mean, there's still like a lot left to go on it, but... I, I'm doing all the voices in that movie myself, and my goal is to have that finished before year 2023 is over. But yeah, that's basically it for this video. Thanks so much to the awesome person who got this for me. Uh, the Ken doll, I absolutely love it. I definitely will be using it as a prop in my Scary Sims 2 movie. Well, my scary Sims 2 and live action movie because I'm going to be like green screening myself in and everything. All I need now is an evil spell book and a whole bunch of fake weapons and also a green mask off my Amazon wish list. I was going to use that for some stuff also in the movie. So yeah, that's basically it. So thanks so much to the awesome person who got this for me. I really appreciate it. And yeah, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. So that's it. Peace out, people.